Welcome to Dynamic Medicos. Today in this video, I am going to talk about the bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae. Its morphology, cultural characteristics, clinical features, lab diagnosis. Let's first start with the morphology. Gram positive cocci. It's capsulated. Its shape is flame shaped, elongated with one end broad and other is pointed. In the gram negative stain or the nigrosin or the indial ink, it uh, shows the clear halo around the bacteria. Coolant reaction, it's a refractile halo. This bacteria is non motile and non sporing. Let's start with the cultural characteristics. It's an aerobe and the facultative anaerobe. Grows well on enriched media like the blood agar, chocolate agar with 5 to 10 percent of CO2 supplementation. Its optimum pH is 7.8. Optimum temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. On blood agar, the incubation period is 18 hours and it shows the alpha hemolytic zone. Its biochemical reactions are it's a catalyst negative, oxidase negative. Now let's start with the clinical features. First is respiratory infections. It's a commonest cause of the pneumonia and usually the secondary infection. Lobar or the bronchopneumonia. 10 to 25 years age group shows the lobar pneumonia and over the 50 years age group shows the bronchopneumonia. There is acute exacerbation of the chronic bronchitis. Bacteremia. It's a common during the early stage of lobar pneumonia due to diffusion of capsular polysaccharide into the blood and tissue. Next is meningitis. It affects all the age groups, especially the children and elderly spreads through the nasopharynx to meninges via bloodstream or by contiguity. Secondary to the other pneumococcal infections such as pneumonia. Now let's start with the lab diagnosis. Gram positive capsulated diplococci along with pus cell. Cooling reaction to demonstrate the capsule. Antigen detection in serum and cerebrospinal fluid. Counter immunoelectrophoresis. ELISA coagulation test. Latex agglutination test. Antibody detection. Radio immunoassay. Indirect fluorescent antibody techniques and the indirect him agglutination. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and comment on my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Dynamic Medicos.